Good morning everyone. Today, we are going to present to you our report about behavioral system model of Dorothy Jensen. According to Dorothy Jensen, each individual has a predispositions act with the reference to the goal in certain ways rather than in other ways. Dorothy Jensen was born on August 21, 1919 in Savannah, Georgia. She graduated her Bachelor of Science in Nursing from Vanderbilt University in Nashville, Tennessee in 1942. She graduated her Master's in Public Health from Harvard University in Boston in 1948. From 1949 until her retirement in 1978, she was an Assistant Professor of Pediatric Nursing, an Associate Professor of Nursing, and a Professor of Nursing at the University of California in Los Angeles. Of the many honors she received, Dorothy Jensen was the proudest of the Lulu Hasenplug Distinguished Achievement Award from the California Nurses Association in 1977 and Vanderbilt University School of Nursing Award for Excellence in Nursing in 1981. She died on February 1999. Major Concepts and Definition First, Behavior Output of intraorganismic structures and processes as they are coordinated and articulated by and responsive to changes in sensory stimulation. System, a whole that functions as a whole by virtue of the interdependence of its parts. Behavioral system, pattern, repetitive, and purposeful ways of behaving. Subsystem, mini system with its own particular goal and function that can be maintained as long as its relationship to the other subsystems or environment is not disturbed. Equilibrium, a stabilized but more or less transitory resting state in which the individual is in harmony with himself and with his environment. Sustainable imperatives, a constant supply of functions or requirements. Regulations or control, implies that the deviation will be detected and corrected. Tension, a state of being stretched or strained and can be viewed as an end product of equilibrium disturbances. Stressor, internal or external stimuli that produce tension and result in degree of instability. The four assumptions of the behavioral system model. First, there is organization, interaction, interdependency, and integration of the parts and elements of behaviors that make up the system. Second, a system tends to achieve a balance among the various forces operating within and upon it, and that man continually strives to maintain a behavioral system balance and steady state by more or less automatic adjustment and adaptation to the natural forces hanging upon him. Third, a behavioral system which both requires and results in some degree of regularity and constancy in behavior is essential to the man that is to say, it is functionality significant in that serve a useful purpose both in social life and for the individual. Fourth, the final assumption states, system balance reflect adjustment and adaptation that are successful in some ways in some degree. Jensen's behavioral system model. According to Udan of 2011, in 1968, Dorothy first proposed her model of nursing care as fostering of the efficient and effective behavioral functioning in the patient to prevent illness. Consequently, the patient is seen as a behavioral system with subsystem. Next, according to Octaviano of 2020, Jensen's combination of systems into her work was further demonstrated by her statement that nursing was concerned with man as an integrated whole and this is the specific knowledge of other nurses must require. According to Udan of 2011, Jensen believed each individual has patterned purposeful repetitive ways of acting that comprise a behavioral system specific to that individual. These actions and behavior form an organized and integrated functional unit that determines and limits the interaction between the person and this environment and establishes the relationship of the person to the objects, events, and situations in the environment. These behaviors are orderly, purposeful, predictable, sufficiently stable, and recurrent to be amenable to description and explanation. According to Jensen, there are four goals of nursing which are as follows. To assist the patient. First, whose behavior is commensurate with social demands. Second, who is able to modify his behavior in ways that supports biological imperatives. Third, 
who is able to benefit to the fullest extent during illness from the physician's knowledge and skills. Fourth, whose behavior does not give evidence of unnecessary trauma as a consequence of illness. Jensen proposed that the client is behavioral system organized into seven subsystems of behavior. Seven subsystems of behavior. First, attachment or affiliative subsystems. Social inclusions, intimacy in the formation and attachment of a strong social band, its ultimate function is survival. Second, dependency subsystem. Approval, attention, or recognition, and physical assistance. Third, ingestive subsystem. The emphasis is on the meaning and structures of the social events surrounding the occasion when the food is eaten. Its function is appetite satisfaction. Fourth, eliminative subsystem. Human cultures have defined the different social acceptable behaviors for expression of waste, but the existence of such pattern remains different from culture to culture. The next subsystem of behavioral system model is the sexual subsystem. Both biological and social factors affect behavior in the sexual subsystem. Examples are the role identity, courting, mating, and the function is procreation and gratification. The next is the aggressive subsystem. It is related to the behavior concerned with protection and self-prevention, one that generates defensive response from the individual when life or territory is being threatened. The next is the achievement subsystem. Provokes behavior that attempt to control the environment, intellectual, physical, creative, mechanical, and social skills. It is the efforts to gain mastery and control. Each subsystem has three functional requirements. As requirements, first, system must be protected from nicious influences or harmful, or harmful things with which system cannot cope. Second, each subsystem must be nurtured or taken care of through the input of appropriate supplies from the environment. And the last one is that each subsystem must be stimulated or affected by stimulant for use to enhance growth and prevent stagnation. According to Jensen, each subsystem compromises for structural characteristics. A goal is based on universal drive, sense, choice, and action. The goal of a subsystem is defined as the ultimate consequence of behaviors. This means that the goal is the target or expected outcome when the behavior is done. The basis for the goal is a universal drive, the existence of which is support supported by existing theory or research. The set is a tendency to act in a certain way in a given situation. Set formation is influenced by societal norms and variables such as culture, family, values, perception, and preservatory sets. Sets plays a major role in determining the choices a person makes and actions eventually taken. There are two types of sets, preparatory sets and perseveratory sets. Preparatory sets describes one focus in a particular situation. Just like in a chess player, when you play chess, you should be focused and you should know how to analyze or project what, what is the opponent's next move. The next is preservatory sets. It implies persistence to reference the habits one maintains. Choice. Choice refers to the alternate behaviors the person considers in any given situation. Options are influenced by such, by such variables as age, sex, culture, and socioeconomic status. Action is the observable behavior of the person. Metaparadigm of Theory Nursing The primary goal of nursing is to cultivate equilibrium within the individual, which allows for the practice of nursing with individuals at any point in the health illness continuum. Person Johnson views a person as having two major systems, biological system and the behavioral system. It is the focus of medicine to focus on biological system, whereas nursing's focus is on the behavioral system. Health. Health is an elusive state that is affected by social, psychological, biological, and physiological factors. Johnson's behavioral model support the idea that the individual is striving to retain some balance or equilibrium. Environment. According to Johnson, an individual's behavior is influenced by all the events in the environment. Culture influences on the individual's behavior viewed as profound.
Acceptance by Nursing Community In practice, the Johnson's Behavioral System model was used to develop self-report and observational instrument to be carried out with the nursing process. The implementation of the instrument provided a more comprehensive and organized step to assessment and intervention, thereby increasing client and nurse satisfaction with care. In education, a core curriculum based on a person as a behavioral system would have definite goals in clear course, course planning. The study would center on the client as a behavioral system in its dysfunction, which would dissipate the use of nursing process. In research, nursing research, according to Johnson, is vital to explain and identify the behavioral system disorder, which arises in relation with illness and develop good reasoning for the means of management. The theory resulting from the behavioral system model influences the researcher to choose between two options. Analysis and Evaluation Clarity Johnson's provided a clear and easy-to-follow framework and guidelines for human behavior. Concepts presents are clear, consistent, and may be generalized across all ages. Simplicity Johnson's theory is somewhat straightforward in relation to the number of concepts. A person is described as a behavioral system composed of seven subsystems. Nursing is an external regulatory force. However, the theory is potentially complex since there is a number of possible interrelationships between and among the behavioral systems, its subsystems, and the forces drawing on them. Generality Johnson's theory is relatively limitless when applied to the six in sick individuals, but it has not been used as much with well individuals or groups. Johnson's perceives a person as a behavioral system comprised of seven subsystems, the sum of interactive behavioral systems. Accessibility Accessibility or empirical precision is achieved by identifying empirical indicators for the theory because models contain abstract concepts. It improves when the subconcepts and the relationship between and among the subconcepts become better defined and empirical indicators are introduced to science. Importance Johnson's models guides nursing practice, education, and research, generates new ideas about nursing, and differentiate nursing from other professions. By focusing on behavior rather than biology, the theory clearly differentiates nursing from medicine, although the concepts overlap with the psychosocial professions.